my name is Pam Kowalczyk. I am 28 years old, and I was diagnosed with PKU when I was 13 days old. So, being flying on the day has really helped me become a well-rounded person and um, pretty successful in the community. In the short video, what you're going to see is myself and how I measure my food, um, what formula I take and what I need to do to start and continue my day so that I can be successful for the rest of my life. So what I have here are all the different types of formulas that I have within not a whole day, but a few days. Every day, I do drink Phenolate Essential, and I also have XV Maximum. I usually drink juice boxes. There's a mix up with um, shipping and the state, so I have the powder, no big deal. We can just make it, it tastes the same. So I have 20 grams in here. Oh, 20 grams protein equivalent in here. I have that mostly in the morning. That's my breakfast. This is what I have pretty much for lunch. It's 50 grams protein equivalent. Um, and that's the phenolate essential. They usually start probably around 12.30 and then I hope to be done with it by like three. I sip a little, then I put it back, then I have some more, I put it back. It's really hard to drink all of that in one sitting. When I am running or when I go out for a run and I come back, I usually have um, the Camino Pro afterwards, and that's really good um, to help me just get back all the electrolytes, put some protein back in my body. I kind of compare this to my G3 Gatorade for um, those who are athletes and actually use that. Um, that's pretty much what this is. I also um, have a Camino Pro Complete Bar. I prefer the peanut butter. This is almost like a special treat for me, or if I'm really not that hungry and I don't want a full meal, I'll have this instead of eating an actual meal. Um, it has 37 milligrams of feed in it, so that's actually kind of a lot of feed for me. I can only have about 150 milligrams of feed a day. So um, this is really like your meal replacement bar is what you would do with a typical person. So, I will make Pam's Final Aid Essential drink mix um, for her to help save time in the morning for her because she usually is uh, cutting close on time. So, I will come down and make her formula with her Final Aid um, orange cream drink in her container. Um, I give her 200 grams of her formula mix on this scale and I measure it out by as soon as it hits 200, so I will come over and kind of put the container on and turn it on so it doesn't count anything other than the formula itself. So I'll bring it out and kind of do my thing. Um, problem is though, using the spoon is I like to get it all over the scale and mess up sometimes. So I just kind of scoop it in until I reach the required amount of powder mix and right now we're at 36 grams so like what was that three or four spoonfuls sweet right on 200 it's pretty awesome makes it easy so once I get my 200 grams get to fill it up Give it a little, a little extra air over there so I can shake it up and get it nice and mixed before I add the final water. I'm a bartender for PKU formula drinks. Gotta make sure it's mixed well. And I'll just add a little more.
Might have been a bit much, but it should work out. And once that's done, it goes into the fridge so it can be nice and cool in the morning for Pam to take when she's ready to leave. Many mornings I wake up to go on a run, and before I go on long runs, I make myself um, piquini pancakes. I really enjoy the country sunrise, it's my personal favorite. It's very easy to make, it actually tastes good, and compared to the pancakes that I used to eat when I was real little, they actually stay together. It's pretty exciting. Um, so in the morning, wake up, get dressed, mosey down. Um, I actually use coconut oil. I like it a lot better. I think it gives the pancakes a better taste and it's very, very healthy. Um, it has a lot of good health benefits. So I already have that measured out and I have it um, melted from the microwave. I just use the directions that are in the back, just like regular pancakes. It called for um, the two teaspoons of vegetable oil, and we're going to do seven tablespoons of pancake mix. And then we have about six tablespoons of water after that. We mix it together, and we're ready to wrap them around. So it's cool. I'm gonna, like making my batter actually thicker. I added a little bit more extra oil to it. I just think it's, for me, that's my personal preference. The different things that you can do with PKU food sometimes is um, add a little, subtract a little, especially with spices um, and oils to make it more for you, um, especially with food that's bland. So, um, Another personal favorite that I actually like, I hate syrup, but I do like honey. So I add just a little bit of honey in there and gives it a little extra sweet flavor. And it's also good, again, um, for running purposes. It's a lot of the running, um, I guess, nutrition during running that I use. Um, when I'm in training on my long runs, is actually honey, like honey packets. Just put them on the grill and the pan. And we wait for it to cook, and it doesn't take that long. Alright, and this is my PK pancake. This is a little bigger than I normally make. I'll eat this. Wait maybe 20 minutes, half hour, and then I'll start on a run nice and slow, and then I'll pick it up. And I'm ready to go do my long run. So everything that you eat has to be measured um, in grams, and that's how I calculate how many fees I have in a day. So um, I'm going to have a nectarine. I use my scale again, just like how I use it for when I'm making my formula or when Ben's making my formula. Um, measured in grams, this is 124 grams. To help me know how many fee there are, I use an app on my um, iPad, and it's called Diet Well. I have already eaten this before, so I am able to go to previous log items. I find nectarines, log new. I put in how many grams it is. It's 124. Um, technically, I'm not actually going to be eating all 124 grams because the pit is in there and that has some weight to it, but um, I just do the whole thing anyway, and so it's good to kind of overestimate than underestimate, I feel. So I put in my grams, click save, it then goes into my logs dietary logs and it's saved under the date so that one nectarine the 124 gram weight was 13.6 milligram of fee I personally really like 
how accurate this is um, calculating the fee for me, especially since my tolerance is so low. Um, I make sure that I'm right on. Um, another reason why that I really like this um, now is that um, getting to that age of maternal PKU and you're going to really need to be um, diligent with the amount of fee that you're taking in, the amount of calories and the formula that you have in order to have um, a very a healthy baby. So this is really good practice and something and a really good application that I'm able to use to help myself and my future.